it's your boy record the best and in this video i'll be showing you guys how to remove the samsung factory reset protection and this method that we're going to be using is the site sync method so i'm going to show you here so i'm just going to set up the phone connect to a wi-fi so i've connected to a wi-fi network so i'm going to go next agree check in connection so there it is this device was reset to continue signing with a google account that was previously synced on this device so we need to sign in with a google account that was sync to this device previously so i'm going to show you how to get a past that i'm just going to click accept and are we going to need a usb cable so i'm just going to connect the usb cable to my pc and on the pc i'm going to open side sync application let me show you guys that up there so open side sync and what I'm gonna be doing is to just connect my USB cable to the device All right so as you can see open with we want to use Google Chrome I'm just gonna accept so now that we have done that You can remove the USB cable no thanks and I'm gonna be putting the link down below in the description so you could check my description for the link so you want to go to record the best tech the best tech.com or you could put it in, in Google whichever so I'm just gonna click the section that says Samsung factory reset protection bypass sync method I'm just gonna scroll down. Now we're gonna need this APK file which is called account login. So I'm just gonna download that. Download. Touch Chrome again. And if for any reason when you connect your phone via USB cable to the side sync program and you doesn't get the pop-up that gives you chrome you need to downgrade your firmware so there is a link also in the description showing you how to upgrade and down, downgrade your firmware i'm actually on android 5.1 this device was on android 6.0 before but it never worked so i had to downgrade before doing this process so i'm just going to go back back again and i'm going to go back again back we're going back to where it give you the option to take you to the galaxy apps so I'm just gonna click OK I agree start and then we're gonna hit search and then we're gonna type in E S file explorer so we're gonna click install so we're gonna need a Samsung account in order to download the ES file explorer so you could create one if you don't have any and if you do you could just sign in with your existing account so I'm just gonna sign in 
so I'm just gonna hit sign in so now I'm in I'm just gonna click install download and accept and this work this method work for any Samsung device so if you're a Samsung phone for some reason when you connect it to side sync and it doesn't work you just need to downgrade your framer all right so I'm just gonna click open and I'm gonna navigate to the download folder there is the APK that we need to install account login so we're gonna go to settings allow from unknown source click OK then install open then we're gonna to touch this tree that in the upper right hand corner click browser sign in okay and then I'm gonna enter I'm gonna enter the Gmail account information and the password I'm gonna click sign in that's it so what you need to do now is to hold on on the power button and restart the device So we're just going to go through the setup, English, next, next, agree, so as you can see, account added, your first account is ready for use, you can sign in and remove accounts later in settings, so we're just going to click next, next, so we actually bypass it pretty easy uh, later finish and boom so you are now good to go so if you guys enjoyed this video I want you to like it share it if you haven't subscribed please do Thank you for watching this video, have a good one, goodbye.